Contest of general knowledge and quick wits. Asking the questions, Bamba Gascoigne. Hello again, and another needle match tonight with the students of Kiel making their third appearance after two victories in University Challenge. Tonight has to be their last appearance because after three they have to retire, win or lose. The name They Bamba. could retire under the family name. The family name. There was a, a Gascoigne in the 18th century married a Miss Bamba from Ireland, and they called their son Bamba Gascoigne. He was actually quite a rogue. He, um, I think, achieved the ultimate in pocket boroughs. He once represented in Parliament a, a borough which only had two electors. It was the, the roughest borough he could possibly find, called Bossini. Um, and he, was, uh, he made a lot of money in, in Parliament, the way everyone did in those days. How far back can you trace your, your family? A long way? A long way, yes. They came over soon after the Normans. They came in about 1200. I reckon they waited until it had settled down a bit and the serious fighting was over. And then they went to Yorkshire, your, your territory. Uh, to Harwood, in fact. They, we lived for about four centuries in Harwood. And there are wonderful alabaster monuments of a lot of Gascoigne's in the church at Harwood from about 1400. And every generation since, until my grandfather and my uncle have been soldiers. In he was very sad news here at Dicto Media. We are still mourning after the loss of such a huge personality, Arthur Bamba Gascoigne, a man who was born in the early 1935s. He was actually the eldest son of Lieutenant Colonel Derek Ernest Frederick Obi Gascoigne. And actually, even uh, his father was a son to a brigadier. General Sir Ernest Frederick Obi Gascoigne and Laura Cicere. And actually, Cicere was a daughter of a general, Edward Henry Clive. If you remember very well, and if you look through the history of UK, you'll all know that uh, general, en general Edward Henry Clive was actually the family where a man commonly known as Robert Clive, the one who administered India, in the early 1930s came from so his this is a man who came from a huge family a well popular grounded family uh, when you look at his great grandfathers they, they included robert Cremelns, uh, a man who closely worked in the politics and actually closely worked with queen elizabeth even during her coronation so this is a man we are going to really miss um, looking through his biography, this is a man who was a direct descendant uh, of Lord Mayor of, of the Lord Mayor of London, Sir Chris Gascoigne, and, and a couple of Tory politicians. Bamba himself was a very popular figure, most especially in the area of Liverpool. That's where he actually started even conducting his uh, university quiz. Um, a man who was educated in London um, at one of the schools commonly known as the Sunningdale School in Berkshire before winning a couple of scholarships to both Eton College and the Magdalen College of Cambridge in around, if I remember very well, the 1955s. He's a very uh, um, huge personality who actually graduated um, in the English literature while at Magdalen, Magdalen uh, he actually wrote a couple of um, musical uh, literatures, uh, a case in point, Share My Letters, which was produced in London in 1957 by Michael Codron and performed by Maggie Smith and Kenneth Williams with music by Keith Starham and Patrick Goers. Um, this is a man who actually um, went to the Commonwealth Fund um, as, a fr I mean, on the scholarship and he later also went to Yale University in around, I think, 1958-59 um, after the National Service. Bamba was the original presenter from the 1960s of the television quiz, The University Challenge, based on the US series, College Bowl. He held actually that position, I think, for a couple of years, probably around 25 years, until the end of the initial run in around 1987-88. And he as well presented the show uh, with a couple of other people. And in its initial series, he also set all the questions 
um, question, his questioning manner was regarded as firm yet polite as you can really see in the videos phrases he often used which became catchphrases of course amongst the youth during that time um a case in point there was one which was commonly um spoken by a couple of youth during that time you start up for 10 no conferring fingers on buzzers i'll have to hurry you and so many others this is a man uh, in around 1950 uh, 1984 probably who was famously parodied, parodied by grief friends jones on the alternative comedy series the young ones in an episode entitled bambi uh, ionically uh, a cast member adrian edmondson later appeared on the real universal challenge and in turn gascoin presented the parody university challenge in around 1998 based on the sci-fi comedy series red dwarfer this is a man who is going to be so much missed he's going to be so much missed um all we can say let us continue praying for the family friends and relatives plus all the fans around the world who have known this great man rest in power king bamba